we've looked at uh, using the person object. Uh, I'm going to give you an exercise to try out and in the next video I'm going to explain the solution. The exercise is to create a person object like this and uh, have an address object within it. I want you to create a nested address object. So it would look something like this. I'll retain the get full name here. You can probably take this code, uh, pause the video, just type out this code and then add to it. Um, I want you to have an address property, which is uh, a nested object. And this could have something like street. And then uh, city. and state okay so there is an address object with the street city and state what i want you to do is create a is from state property on this address object which takes in a state as an argument a string state as an argument and returns true or false as to whether this person object is from that state or not. Okay, so let's say I choose the state as um, California here. I'm going to take this out. But what I would like to do is have that function there so that I can say person dot is from state and I pass in California. This should return true because the state matches the state here. Okay, if I pass something else, ABC it should return false because this does not match this. So go ahead and give that exercise a shot. In the next video, I'll explain how that's done uh, and I'll give and outline the solution.